Early versions of Windows were not like it is today. Today we have something like what you're seeing on the screen right now. You have some hardware and then you have Windows stored directly on top of that hardware. However, in early days of Windows we didn't do that. Here's what we did instead. We had hardware and then we would install DOS. We would usually use some floppy disks to do that and then you would install Windows on top of that. So you had to install the DOS here first and then you would install Windows second. Now whenever you would push a button or or click something in Windows it actually had to be interpreted through DOS. It would it would actually uh, create some sort of command here in DOS which in turn would then go on to the hardware and perform whatever action it was that you wanted to perform. And so it was really a uh, two-step process in order to install Windows. Now I'm going to go on here to a uh, let's uh, go ahead and, and close this thing down and I'm going to go here to a Windows 98 virtual machine and if I click on start here and type C O M M A N D dot com this is the command line uh, window so let's just open that up and look what we have here we have MS DOS prompt you see I'm actually performing everything that I do here directly in MS-DOS. I'm actually performing DOS commands. Now that is not true today. Today we no longer have DOS in Windows. We're going to talk about that in future videos, what we do have in place of DOS. But if you look up at the title bar, you'll be able to tell whether you're in DOS or whether you're in the later command line, which we'll talk about later on.